Good morning, Grade 1 students. How are you guys doing? Today is Tuesday, the 23rd of June in the year 2020, and we are about to have language arts. Before we go any further, let's take a look at our background photo for today. Here I have for you a sunrise over the playing field in Fancy. And right along here, we can see the island of St. Lucia. So how cool is that? And right here is where the pitons would be for the island of St. Lucia, but they're so high, they're up in the clouds. So I hope that you guys would do some further research on St. Lucia, and maybe you can even decide to wake up early one day to see if you can get a glimpse at the sunrise. Things you'll need for today's lesson are your language tree text, language arts exercise book, a pencil, eraser, and a sharpener. Now let's get into our lesson for today. For phonics review, we're going to be reviewing the long E sound in the form of the split blend E E. Okay, so here I have for you some sentences for you to try. Just a reminder, I E, because we did these songs before, I E gives you a long I sound and A Y says A. So I combine some of the songs we have already covered as well in the sentences for you to try. So pause the video right here and give them a go. Phonics. Today we're going to continue with the long E sound and we're going to be reviewing E E that says E E A E and the split blend E E. First word. The first sound we hear we have and then the second sound is E E E says E put them together E He final sound all three sounds together now. Heat. Heat. The word is heat. The sun is so hot I can feel the heat. Next word. First sound. Mmm. Mmm. Mom and dad made many meals. Mmm. Second sound. E. Together this will give us me. Final sound. Mmm. Mmm. Put them all together. Mean. mean. The word is mean. This face looks very mean. And sometimes your teacher can possibly ask you, what do you think the word means? So the word mean can have different meanings. So pay attention to figure out what way the word mean is being used when you hear people speak. Next word, here we have, let's go first sound. Mm. Second sound, T. So, N, E, N. Final sound, D. So, this is N. So, if you add on the final sound, then the word is going to be need. Need. We need you. Is there something that you need? Okay. Now, let's look at this word. So, this word, I did not put a song bubble by the letter K because the letter K is silent. It doesn't make any sound in this word. So, let's go with the first sound. N, E, A would say E. So, N, E, again, but this time it's not E, E, it's E, A. So, N, E, D. Need. This word says need, but look at the difference. See the difference in the spelling there? Okay, but what does this word mean? Ah, yes. So here's a clue for you. So this need with the K and the E-A is when you are needing do. Alright? So maybe you could practice spelling these two words. And they're homophones because they have the same sound, but they have different meanings. Next word. Let's go first. Sound says k, k. This sound says o. Oh. So let's put them together. We have k, k. And then these two F's will go together to make one sound. So we have f, f. So this is k, off, cough. And then we have E. Put it all together. K, off, E. Coffee. The word is coffee. Does anyone in your house drink coffee? Okay. Nice, and these are coffee beans here, which is what coffee is made from. So this word is coffee. And our final word for phonics today, T and R go together to say true. So say it with me, true. And then we have our, first, our next sound, ah, ah. So 
tra. Final. This sound. P, p, trap. Trap. This part of the word is trap. We have e. So trappy. Final sound. Z. Trapeze. The word is trapeze. Do you know what is a trapeze? Okay. So here I have a video for you to show you what is a trapeze. So the trapeze is what these people are swinging on. This iron bar, this swing, it looks like a swing, right? So this is what you call a trapeze. And these people are acrobats. So they did a lot of training in order to know how to swing on these trapeze. So don't try this at home on your swing, okay? So this is a trapeze. And these are acrobats doing a trapeze act. Now, let's move on to our passage for today. So here, what do you think we are going to talk about today? What are you going to read about? So here in the background, I have some bakes, right? And we are going to be reading about bakes for breakfast. Do you like bakes for breakfast? So here, I have a poem for you all about bakes for breakfast. I'm going to point out some words to you that you may not be familiar with as yet, okay? So this word is flour flour all right this word is fries fries so remember to say it spell it and say it again so we have flour fries tasty tasty this word is no no so we have a silent key again down here all right so pause the video here and give this passage this little poem a try Word study syllables. We have been looking at syllables for word study. Do you know what is a syllable? Do you remember what is a syllable? Okay, let's explore the world of syllables now. A syllable is a group of letters that has one vowel sound. So our vowels are A, E, I, O, U. And a syllable has one vowel sound inside of it. A syllable can be a word like sun or dog, or it can be part of a word. Ip, na, l, ot, and ap. So now let's explore some syllables. So this is word is pat. The word is pat. And in the word pat, do you hear one vowel song or more than one? Let's look at it. Look at the word as well. How many vowels do you see there? One vowel. So let's say it pat. I hear one vowel song. Pat. The man is patting the girl on her back. The word pat. Next word. This word is patting. Patting. How many syllables do you see? Not syllables, sorry. How many vowels do you see? Okay, all right. So can we use that to figure out how many syllables that are there? Right, so we have one vowel here, one vowel here. Let's see if it's a two syllable word. So we have, there we have the split, patin. Patin. We have two syllables in the word patin. And you, you have to know your syllables because they help for you to read words easily. Help for you to figure out what the word is when you're not familiar with it. This word, how many vowels are in it? Okay, this word is hug. 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 When you clap it with me. Hug. We have one vowel song in there. So yeah, it's a one syllable word. So they are hugging. Okay. This word now. So this can this O W can give us two sound. It can say O or it can say ow. So let's try it both ways. So we have b o bo or it can say b ow bow. And how many vowels are in this word? The vowels are a e i o u and we see one o here. So maybe this is a one syllable word. Bo bow. So this is a bow, and they are doing a bow. Great. Next word. How many vowels do you see? Okay, let's see if we can use that to figure out how many syllables are in it. But let's say let's say it together so we can hear the songs. So we have the word cupcake here. So let's take our time and say it. cupcake. Cupcake. I am hearing two syllables. What about you? Okay, so yes, cup and cake, two syllable word. There we go, we have a cupcake. So for this one, we could not use the number of vowels to help us figure out the songs. We also had to say it to figure out the number of syllables. Next word, here we have picnic. 
picnic. How many vowels do we see? Yes, we have two eyes. Let's see now how many syllables are in it. Picnic. Two syllable word. Picnic. They are having a picnic. Have you ever went on a picnic before? All right. Next word. This one looks really long. Let's try to break it up. Let's see. So let's go. Let's go this part. Ba. Na. Na. Banana. So you see there we use the syllables of the word to figure it out. So how many syllables does this word have? Ba. Na. Na. It has three syllables. So let's go. Ba. Na. Na. Great. Do you like to eat bananas? Next word, another long one. How many vowels do you see in this? Nice, let's check them. So we have an E, we have an E, we have another E, and we have an O. It has four vowels in it. This word is watermelon. Watermelon. Let's take our time and say it together. Watermelon. Watermelon. It has four syllables. Watermelon. Do you like to eat watermelons? Okay, and our final word for word study. This word is butterfly. Butterfly. Are you hearing the syllables already? Butterfly. One, two, three. Let's go. Butterfly. Butterfly. Okay. And here is a lovely butterfly. So the word butterfly has three syllables in it. We can hear the sounds. We can hear the three distinct vowel sounds. Butterfly. Great job, great job at figuring out these syllables to do it for me. Now let's move on to writing. Writing today we're going to be doing writing about shopping. Before writing, we're going to talk about these questions. We're going to talk, discuss these questions aloud with whoever is there watching the video with you and helping you. Have you ever been shopping? Okay, who were you with? Where did you go? And what did you buy? So talk about these questions aloud so you can get your ideas together before writing. Great. Now during writing, I would like for you to draw a picture. So you're going to head up in your books. You're going to skip a line where you will be writing the title of the passage when you're finished. And then you're going to draw a picture of you and whoever you went with going shopping. So you're going to write about your picture in neat and complete sentences. So remember capital letters, it must begin with a capital letter. Special names must begin with a capital letter and you're going to end it in a full stop. And then you're going to give your writing a title. So use these questions to guide your writing, okay? And then when you're finished writing now, you're going to read your composition aloud. Are you happy with your writing? Do you like the way it sounds? Okay, if not, then you're going to look it over and see how you can make your writing better. What was it missing? All right. And know that you're all brilliant readers and writers. Okay. And that will be the end of our lesson for today. So, so long. Farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now. Until we meet again, goodbye grade 1 students. I hope that you're all going to stay in good spirits and that you're enjoying your time at home. Okay, bye.